Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Thoughts on Education by College Dunia. Today we are at Mica and we have with us Professor Anita Basalingappa. She is professor in marketing and chairperson online program at Mica. Welcome to College Dunia portal ma'am. Thank you. So starting with the Q&A ma'am, my first question to you is what is the relevance of online education in India? Why has e-learning gained more popularity in India in recent years? In fact, uh, online education in India probably uh, began growing um, at a much faster rate during the pandemic. Before that, there was still relevance for online education because of its uh, ease of consumption. Right now, post the pandemic and during the pandemic. lot of individuals found it very convenient to take the courses um and skill up uh, at their own comfort at their own time at their own place they could take the courses so uh, that's one of the basic reasons why online programs have been uh, popular everywhere in india um there is a demand for various skills in the market there is a demand in the industry for um uh, digital marketing branding and lot of other marketing uh, skills so uh, a lot of people are interested in upgrading their skills and uh, sometimes maybe because they want to make a take a lateral shift in the industry they are also planning to uh, refresh their education and once again upgrade themselves so there are very many reasons why they find the online route so much more convenient than going physically and attending a course thank you for giving the insight ma'am uh, moving forward forward how are the online programs offered by mica progressing and what have been some of the milestones interesting yes so mica online programs began in 2006 that's a long time ago and uh, i think we were one of the uh, first uh, management institutions who started online programs and from then to now i think we've grown a great deal uh in uh, 2022 uh, we almost crossed 10000 alumni in uh, um, our online programs Uh, so that only says about the demand for online programs and the interest and also uh, the usefulness of uh, of the program for the participants so definitely that's one of the milestones and i also see that a lot of students who have enrolled in online programs are finding it useful uh, because they've had lateral shifts some of them have had um, uh, um, you know pay hikes uh some of them uh have found it have become more confident in what they are doing because of the learnings they've had in these programs so um this kind of sums up uh the kind of achievements we've had based on the programs that we've launched so our objective has been to uh ensure that we have uh, uh, uh programs which are quite strong and uh, Uh, we go steady with these programs over a period of time so uh, we have three partnerships and uh, a host of programs and uh, that's continuing thank you for sharing the insight ma'am uh, moving forward my next question to you is what are some of the programs offered by mica and its duration so we have uh, three partnerships right now with the tech partners all these online programs that we are offering at the moment are with the tech partners so we have uh, two programs with the uh, upgrad we have one program with the um, uh, emeritus and uh, we have one program with times pro which is going on right now and a lot of them are in the pipeline and there are many programs which we had offered in the past which we have discontinued uh, in the last few years because we have upgraded them So uh, the one with upgrade, uh, two with upgrade that we have, one of them is live and one of them is uh, uh, asynchronous. So the asynchronous program is almost about eleven point five to twelve months, uh, including the specialization. There's a base program of digital marketing and communication with specializations in um, 
search and content marketing, brand communications management, then we have um, public relations uh, specialization uh, and we are also introducing a new specialization in on generative AI. So uh, that's something which is all, always getting updated. That's the digital marketing and communication program with Upgrad. And we have a six months program on brand communication management, which is a live program which is being offered. And uh, from that program also students can opt one of the specializations which are on offer with the digital marketing and communication program. So those are the two programs with uh, Upgrad. We have one async program with uh, Emeritus which is titled Strategic Brand Management and Communications. Uh, this program is a seven month program and uh, you know typically every quarterly or uh, uh, every quarterly definitely there's a batch if not uh, 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 once in two months. Uh, and uh, this program is more on the uh, client side and it covers a whole range of brand management activities and does include public relations and uh, advertising in great depth. Uh, then we have one program with uh, Times Pro which is on uh, strategic communication and storytelling and this is a fairly new topic and it has great demand in the market because it is central to marketing communications across the industry. And this is the first time a course like this has been introduced and we are quite excited to see um, how it kind of impacts uh, the uh, processes in the industry because there are takers who are coming in um, very enthusiastically for this particular program. We do have a host of them in our pipeline. Um, I would request people to kind of go look up the, our website for new programs. Sure ma'am. Uh, so ma'am, uh, my next question is uh, related to uh, many educational institutions today mm -hmm. offer online program through mm -hmm. e-learning. Mm -hmm. So how does uh, MICA's program compare with other B schools? Okay, interesting question. Um, I think our programs are different is what I can say, but uh, this is with an asterisk that I don't know exactly what are the details of the programs that other management schools offer. But clearly, I do see a lot of participants uh, coming up to our programs and preferring our pro programs because we are quite um, uh, niche in terms of offering uh, branding, marketing, digital marketing, uh, storytelling um, and the like likes uh, in terms of the content. And since we have a, a edge over uh, uh, any other uh, program in terms of its existence and the expertise of conducting online programs, I think the ease and um, uh, the processes that we have uh, uh, developed over time is definitely an edge apart from definitely the content, faculty and uh, uh, industry relevance. That's a very straightforward answer, ma'am. Uh, Thank you. Moving to our last question, uh, could you give a brief about the participants? Uh, what kind of participants uh, get into this program? Yeah, that's definitely a very interesting question because the first thing I can remember is um, we had a campus immersion for some of the programs which we usually do every year. Uh, and we had an aunt and a niece both come in for the program. We were wondering what an aunt and niece both are doing because it's very uh, unique, right? And after talking to them, we realized that both of them were wanting to skill themselves in uh, uh, brand communication management and digital marketing. And they found this MICA course and they decided to enroll in this. And they were quite excited because learning was fun for both of them. So this tells you that an aunt and a niece whose aunt is like 50 plus and this niece is in 20s and both of them were equally enthusiastically studying. In the past, we've had a 74 year old uh, entrepreneur who enrolled in our program because his daughter was a student of PGP long, long time back from the initial batches. Uh, we've had uh, people who are founders of companies, uh, people who are in the top management, 
we've also had uh, people uh, who are alumni of mica some of our uh, own colleagues uh, have uh, chosen to kind of enroll of course these are all people in a uh, smaller number most people come from the industry when they want to upskill themselves they enroll in the program and there are many of them who are uh, freshers as well who think that um, it gives them an edge to uh, participate in this uh, program because they are uh, they can hit the road running in the industry Uh, and one another interesting thing is, especially with um, some of the upgrad uh, courses, there are a lot of universities across the globe who are exploring um, waiving off credits in case if somebody has done a certification from a reputed program in India, online program in India. And the upgrad uh, MICA program, digital marketing and communication course, was in the past there with a UK-based um, uh, university. right now a private university in the us has been accepting the certification of uh, uh, the mica upgrad program for up to 6 credits uh, in their uh, ms degree so this is also indicating the value a university gets when a student has already done a mica uh, online program so yeah that's it thank you thank you for giving the insight about the online program offered by mica it would surely help the aspiring student in this uh, course thank you for giving your time ma'am to college me thank you once again